Hey everyone, in today's video I'll show you how to make a progress bar for file uploads using jQuery and Bootstrap. So before I get started with the code, let me just show you what I mean. Uh, this is a very simple screen. It's a file upload form and here's a progress bar that is currently empty. So if I select a file and hit submit, this progress bar will steadily increase until it's 100% and then that's when I know the file is uploaded. So this is great for um, users. So when they're on your site and they have to upload something for some reason or downloading, which I'll explain briefly in the video, they can have a progress bar to show the actual progress. And now it's 100% and the file is uploaded. So this is great because when people see a progress bar, they feel like something is happening and progress is being made. Whereas if they don't see anything happening, they'll think like your program has crashed. So if it takes a minute to upload a file and they don't see any feedback, they may think it's crashed and they may try to refresh the page and start all over again. And they'll just end up getting frustrated. And just note that you can only do this for things that have an actual percentage complete. So this is for like uploading files or downloading files. If you're actually doing some kind of server intensive process that could take some time, you're going to have to do a fake progress bar because there's no way for your server to know exactly how long it's going to take unless like you just figure out the average of the, um, the process time and you do it that way. But there's really no way you can know how long a process is going to take on your server side. Um, it could take a second. It could take 10 seconds. There could be a million people using your app at once. So it's really slow. Whatever it is, you just don't know exactly how long the process is going to take. So you can't give the user real feedback on how long it's taking. You can only fake it or at best come up with an average value and give them progress on that. So let's get started making this. So I've already written some of the code because I don't think it's really relevant to this video and it would just make the video longer. So I've written out this um, Flask route that handles the upload. So it's either a git request and if it's a git request, it returns a template, which is a form. And if it's a post request, it's uploading whatever file is uploaded to a certain directory. So if you're not familiar with Flask uploads, I have another video. I'll link to it in the description below. And there's also going to be a link to it at the end of this video. But basically all I'm doing is setting it up, uh, specifying a uh, upload directory. So I have this uploads directory here. All the uploaded files will go here. And then I have um, this handler here, which will upload the files and save them if it's a post request. And if it's a git request, just render the upload.html template. So pretty simple stuff. And then here's the upload.html file. Um, I've included jQuery because that's what I'll be using for this. Um, I have this upload.js file, which is empty for the moment. And then I have this form with um, a file input and an input that is a submit. So this is what it looks like. Pretty simple stuff. I can choose a file and then submit and it will upload. So the very first thing I need to do is get jQuery set up. So this is always done using document ready. So document ready. And that's that. So now jQuery will be active when this page loads. So now the first thing that I want to do is I want to create an event handler on this submit button. And this event handler is going to take over the functionality for submit. So instead of doing the typical form submit, I'm going to take it over and then uh, submit the file myself so I can get the status on the upload. So to do this, uh, the name of the submit is let me give this a name. Let me give my form a name. Well, actually, no, I'll just reference it by form like this. So form on submit. Oops. I'm going to do something every time 
the button is hit. And I'll pass in the event here. And I'm going to use that event for events.prevent default. So I'm doing that so the form doesn't do its typical um, form handling. I'm going to prevent that from happening and do my own. So the very first thing I need to do once the form is submitted and the event is prevented is I need to get the form data. So I'll create this object or I'll instantiate this object called form data. And this is just going to be the form. I only have one form on my page, so it's going to be the zeroth element. And that will basically take all of the form data. And in this case, it's only a file and it will convert it to this form data object, which can be easily handled by the Ajax function that I'm going to write next. So here I have an Ajax function that I need to start writing so I can handle this file upload. And then I can eventually get the progress of the file upload as it's happening. So let me start with the typical uh, Ajax parameters. So type, uh, it's gonna be a post URL is going to be upload. Data will be form data, which is what I just created. And then I'll add a couple of other things. I need to do process data and content type as false. That way Ajax doesn't get confused when it's trying to send, send this form data object. And then I'll have a success. And I'll just have a function uh, how about an alert? File uploaded. Okay, so I'll save that. And now let me just run this to make sure that my script works that takes over the file upload functionality uh, works and I don't have any errors. So everything looks good. Okay, so let me do a test upload to make sure everything is working correctly. So I'll choose this pagination video, which is about a gig, and I'll upload it. And it's currently pending at the moment. This should take 20 to 30 seconds to do. Since I'm on my local machine, it's not going to take forever. If I try uploading a gigabyte file, it'd probably take me like 30 minutes to an hour. But it only takes about 20 to 30 seconds here. Uh, so still pending, still pending. And this is one of the bad things about uploads you just don't know what the progress is but it took 23.3 seconds and it says file uploaded so that's great so now what i want to do is i want to get the actual progress that the upload um, has gone through so to do this i'll add the xhr parameter to ajax and i'll create a function um, that gets called for this h XR, XML HTTP requests. So first thing I need to do is create this function. And this function is going to return an HXR object. So var HXR is going to be new window.xml HTTP request. And then I'll simply return this at the end. And in between creating it and returning it, I need to attach the progress event to this HXR object. And this is going to handle all of the um, progress for us. So uh, hxr.upload.add event listener, listener. And I wanna track the progress event. Create a function. And I'll create an event. I'll call it E. So what this does is it adds the progress event to the upload um, HXR status. So this can either be an upload or a download. If it's a download, you simply omit this. So it would just be HXR.add event listener. But with um, uploads, you have to add this upload. So now with progress, I only need to do a couple of things. I need to check and see if it actually has the length. So this length computable method will return true or false. 
And it basically tells you if you can calculate how much has been uploaded so far. So if this is false, you can't. But if it's true, you can. And in our case, it's always going to be true. So now what I want to do is I want to log some of the uh, values. There are three things that I want to log. First one is loaded. So let's say bytes loaded. And then e dot loaded will give me the number of bytes. And one thing to know is that this progress event gets called every 50 milliseconds. So this console.log is going to be printed over and over and over again until the file is completely uploaded. And we'll see that in a second. So console.log, let's do total size. And then e.total. So that's what you need to get the, the size of the file that's being uploaded. And then finally, one more console.log percentage uploaded. And basically, it's just E loaded divided by E total. Pretty simple formula to get the percentage uploaded. So I'll save this. I'll delete the file that I have. I'll delete pagination and I will run it again with the new changes. So I'll select pagination, open, and once I hit submit, I should see the console being logged to with those three things. So submit, and now we see bytes loaded is steadily increasing, total size is staying the same, and the percentage uploaded is steadily going up. So it's about 70% now, and in a few seconds, it should be 100%. And once it completes, all the console logs will stop because the file is completely uploaded, which it is now. So it uploaded over, looks like a billion bytes, and the percentage uploaded is now one. So these, uh, this percentage is what I'm gonna use for the progress bar. So one thing that I wanna do here before I get to that is I want to actually create a variable with the percentage, but I'm going around it uh, so it's a nice integer. So I'll call this percent, and I'll say math.round e loaded divided by e total times 100. And this will give me an integer. So if it's 50% uploaded, I will get the number 50 back. So I'll save this. And now what I want to do is I want to add a bootstrap progress bar. So I'm just going to take this from bootstrap CD and I'm going to take all of it just to save time. And I'm going to put this in my HTML file. So now I have bootstrap loaded. And then I'll find the progress bar. So let's see, I think it's components and progress bars. And let's see which one looks good. Uh, let's just do a basic one. So basic example. Now nah, I'll do this one. I'll take this and I'll put it in here underneath the, uh, the form. So let me just see what that looks like. I don't think I need this 60%. So refresh. Okay, so I think I do need that 60%. So let me put that 60% back. And it says 60%. Okay, so this is gonna be my progress bar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update the status of this progress bar each time that event runs. So all I need to do is assign an ID to this div to make it easier to work with. So I'll say ID progress bar. And in upload here in the uh, HXR function, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find this progress bar and I need to 
modify a couple of things on it every time this event runs. So the first thing is this aria value now. I need to update that. So I'll just use attribute. So attribute of that will be percent. I also need to edit the width of it. So it's at 60% for the width. So I will change the width. So CSS width, and it's going to be my percent plus percent sign. And finally, I want to update the text inside of here. So I will do text and text will be percent plus the actual percent sign. And now that I have this here, I should have the progress bar moving because this will be constantly updated every time this callback is executed, which is every 50 milliseconds. So I'll save that and I'll run it. And one last thing I should do is I should start this at zero. So this is 0%, this is 0%, and this is zero. So let me refresh. So now there's nothing there. Let me upload a file and hit submit. And now we see the progress bar quickly filling up. So it's a 40% now. And it should only take a moment to get to 100%. But as you can see, making this happen is really easy. Really, the only thing you have to know is how to use the um, HXR progress event listener. And once you have that, creating the progress bar itself is really easy to do. And like I said, if you want to do this for downloads instead of uploads, just remove this and just do hxr.addEventListener and everything else will be the same. So a pretty simple example, but uh, I just wanted to show you that someone requested it. So if you have any questions about creating a progress bar in jQuery and using a bootstrap progress bar and using Flask uploads, any of that, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.